Hey out there in Watch Repair Land and welcome to my channel. Um, again, I've got some interesting stuff to show you today. Uh, if you want watch service from me, uh, please email me at jdwatchservice at uh, gmail.com. It's right up there somewhere. Um, what you're seeing on the uh, right hand side is an old uh, vintage Omega pocket watch. Sault Ste. Marie a jeweler probably did the face and the, uh, and the movement is an Omega movement. So need to clean that balance on it. So uh, this is a tool that I invented and built that helps you uh, very carefully and under great control clean a balance and a hairspring on a pocket watch. So please watch this and enjoy. First I'm going to show you the construction of this tool. Uh, the problem was that I wanted to have a lot of control of, of the uh, of the hairspring and balance cock as I as I clean that hairspring and lighter fluid. I didn't want to drop the balance or the balance cock into the lighter fluid. I just needed control. So I figured I would lift the lighter fluid up to the balance. So that was the problem that needed to be solved and here's the tool. So the first thing I did was measure out two plates, mate them together with some Loctite and then clamp them so I could drill the two holes for the posts for the lift. There they are clamped together um, and I did all the measurement first and I unclamped them. There's a Loctite in there and then after that uh, what I needed to do was tap out the holes. Um, I used a 1 8 inch drill bit to tap the holes and then I needed to thread the posts, the brass posts that I had for that and I used the same uh, tap and die that I used for all of this to make sure it was consistent and then I did a coin as well. I tapped a coin to make sure that that was, could spin up in the thread and I did the other posts as well and then when I finished that post I assembled it all to make sure it worked and then I had to um, do the uh, back there. The whole thing is assembled with the balance tack in the back. I had to thread to actually put that in the uh, watchmaker's lathe to make that into a proper tack um, and then I tested it all. I used my ring in there to make sure everything kind of fit and the thing would go up and down um, and then I took my um, took some lighter fluid and put a cigar cap on there the end of a cigar cap and I actually tested it then I disassembled it because it's got to look shiny so I got my Minford 5000 shine it up device there it is all laying there before getting shined up and reassembled and I used my Dremel tool put it on speed just above 15 and I clamped it so I wouldn't burn my fingers holding the uh, parts um, and then I went about shining it all up and there it is nicely shined up Then I went about uh, reassembling it all and there's reassembling it all on my bench down in my workshop and it's a nice little shot of it there with the uh, tack all finished as well uh, and then uh, throw the balance on to see if it all kind of fits and I needed to have a cap a proper cap so I got myself a couple of those hardware store uh, end caps for pipes um, and I got rid of the threads on the inside and shined it up because you needed to have a nice shiny cap so it looks like uh, the rest of it. These are brass caps, same material I used to build the tool with and there you see my uh, the end result of the whole thing. What a beautiful, beautiful tool. All right, the first thing you do when you take a balance off after removing the movement, there's a very small little groove in the back here, and you stick your screwdriver in the groove and just twist it, and that'll raise the balance up. Then you position the balance cock very close to the watch, um, and you lift the balance out of the pocket watch by tilting the movement slightly, like that, and the watch comes out because the balance is is tucked under the center wheel of this watch and then you very carefully rest it on the on the balance tack like so there we go and I'll just move this whole unit over a bit so you can see it and then you place the watch somewhere where it's not going to get the movement somewhere where it's not going to get damaged so I just place it back in the um, in the uh, case itself so there we go that's the balance sitting there and I've got my uh, glasses on here so I can see stuff because without these glasses I am blind I'm blind so there we go so I've done that now um, <clears throat> in the past I've shown you a cool little uh, balance holder that I that I uh, again it's another one of my many inventions I think but 
the intent of this balance holder is to put the balance on here and if this spring for the uh, for the, the hairspring sags down low based on the weight of the balance it will sit in this groove here and take the weight off of the balance. Now I did that initially with this device so right here which worked quite well um, and I'll just show you here so I had one tack on there so I didn't want to be too tacky as they say I'll can clap right now if you think that's funny I had one tack on here but the balance was still bouncing around so so I think I still need to lower the tack on this and the other tool that I made um, but what I've been doing is just putting a piece of material underneath the tack here so that it's rubbing against the balance but even with this one here it's sort of settling it down but um, so it's not bouncing around um, so it does work like this and that was to take the stress off the hairspring so that was the invention number one and then invention number two was made so I could have two different sizes of of tacks so I've got tack tack one and tack two and these unscrew but I still have to take material off of these tacks to lower to be able to lower the balance further right because it's it needs to snug down and I want that balance to be to be resting on the piece of metal here but that's not that is neither here nor there it's neither here nor there like my big eyes big eyes that's because I've got times three glasses with a times five loop on top here so uh, so you need to make sure when you're doing all this nonsense um, that you you take enough material off of these tacks so the balance will rest lower right so but you don't want to take too much material right away because then you'll realize oh my god I've screwed it up so so then I was uh, actively I fixed a pocket watch and I cleaned it up and I cleaned up the cap jewel on here and everything and I had everything intact and I was very concerned about the condition of the uh, of the hairspring because it looked I had cleaned it um, and I used one dip to clean it but one dip wasn't dippy enough for cleaning it so I was like what am I gonna do what am I gonna do so I realized from a gentleman that I've worked with for or known for a long time on the blogs that you can use lighter fluid to clean a balance complete and it will not impact the impulse jewel so it will not loosen the shellac on the impulse jewel so I'm going to change glasses so I don't look so stupid when I look at you. Like, I look like bubbles from Trailer Park Boys. There we go. A little bit better. So, and I can still see a little bit. So, um, so I didn't want to, um, I wanted to, to, to use the um, lighter fluid to do the cleaning. So, so as not to use a boatload, a boatload, I think the video freezes for a second. So as not to use a boatload. Um, lighter fluid whenever I say boatload the video freezes I think um, I used a cap here so I could put the lighter fluid in the cap and then take the balance like so very carefully and lift it and then put that into the dip that into the um, into the cap it's like that one dip stuff now that didn't really work without taking the hairspring off the balance and I really wanted to test the amplitude of the watch with a clean hairspring and balance without having to disassemble all that because you can clean the jewel actually from the top you can unscrew the jewel and very carefully uh, pop off the cap using two screwdrivers and two very small yellow and white handled screwdrivers or orange and white handled screwdrivers where orange is the smallest orange is the new white so and I got my teeth cleaned yesterday oh man they're so clean so <clears throat> so uh, I wanted to to dip this in here um, but have it in there for like half an hour not like five minutes so I wanted to, to, it to work on the hairspring I had another repair job I did a while back where where I thought I'd done everything perfectly I'd taken the hairspring off of the uh, of the balance staff um, I'd thrown in lighter fluid I've, I, I used my my air puffer to agitate the lighter fluid to try to get any gum and stuff off of that hairspring it, it seemed like it worked. I put it all together again, and it didn't work at all. It was uh, that it was a Rolex I was working on, the uh, Rolex uh, Expedition, um, and I had done all that work on that Rolex, and, I, and with the hairspring all by itself and stuff, couldn't do it. So then I realized that 
it needs to be in there a lot longer if you're going to put it into lighter fluid. So I said, okay, put it in for 30 minutes, go have lunch, come back. It's not going to hurt anything and then try it out. So I did that, pulled the hairspring out, went under my stereo microscope, which is over there, had a look at the hairspring and the gum that I had seen before was gone, completely gone. So it worked, but it had to be in there a lot longer. And it's just basic old school lighter fluid cleaning. So holding this thing over the top for half an hour was not a good plan. So go to the next phase of thinking, what am I gonna do? I need to ha safely dip this into lighter fluid. Um, I, I need to make sure it's secure and I want to fill up the lighter fluid um, and have, have, why do I need to dip this? Why can't I lift the lighter fluid up to the balance when it's on the balance tack? So here's the problem. So I've got the, the balance like this, as you can rightfully see, like that. And I've got the balance, the lighter fluid jar, but guess what? This won't fit underneath. Um, maybe I can lift it up first put it underneath and then throw it in like this, like that, but then it's touching the side. Um, it's just sloppy. It's a sloppy design. So I said, okay, let me think outside of that box and see what I can design. So in comes the next thought pattern. And in that thought pattern, I thought, okay, I need to develop, I need to design something that very carefully raises the bucket of lighter fluid, a small thimble bucket of lighter fluid, up to the balance. What am I going to do? What can do that? So I'm going to show you the pieces first and I'll assemble it and show you what this is and how it works. And I think my video just went it's like in those horror movies. So I'm going to show you what I've done to raise the bucket up to the lighter fluid. Hopefully there's no more twitching. I think I have to reboot, reboot my computer. Okay, here's the first part of it. So part one, and then this, you can see what I've done here. Um, this is the uh, base of this. Alrighty then. So here you've got a close up of the contraption. Um, these two posts, again, were, I threaded these I tap the piece of base metal here, and these are my elevator lifts. Then I took um, a balance tack. I took a piece of brass as well, and I threaded the brass using the um, 4M.7, I believe, is what I used. And then I threaded the plate as well. And as you can see, now I can put the, uh, the balance uh, tack on the plate nicely. I'm getting super close up um, of my uh, stuff, and then I, then I, basically did this with a couple of coins I had, which means the value of this whole tool is exactly two dollars. So these are my lifts. So I had to make lifts for this, and I knew that I had to have a lift and a plate as well. So let me put these on. Um, this one here was just slightly off from center. Oh, what a shame that was. Uh, but the other one was actually perfectly centered. Look at that. Wow, did a much better job on that one. Um, so maybe I was blind. But I'll, again, I'll show you in the photos as I, as I constructed this. I'll show you exactly what I did. So that's that. And then I had the plate here that I made two holes in and they're not threaded so this can just move freely up and down up in the upward direction and down in the downward direction then I had a couple of I took a brass nut that I needed to use to make a bowl out of this because I tried other things but this is perfect and I threw that into the lathe got rid of the threading and because I hate the stucco look on the back here I got my dremel tool out and I dremeled the crap out of it um, in order to uh, basically get it nice and and uh, shiny, because I like shiny stuff. So there you go, shiny, shiny, shiny. Look at that, blinding you. And the inside perfectly cleaned out. And then that would go on like this. And then I'm going to show you the action of this in a second. Uh, and then I take my balance that I have from uh, 
my very old Omega pocket watch. It's not a very high-end pocket watch, but it's a, uh, nice enough. And as you can see on the other view, I'm doing this with the camera kind of right in front of me. So just throw this balance on the tack, like so. Um, and you can see that right now the balance like this is centered. So there you go, that's that. I'm going to stop for a second so I don't hitch up the video. So now you're looking at the full configuration of the device with the balance in. I had to make sure that there was enough clearance in the coin that I select, or the, uh, the plumbing end stop that I selected. So this is a brass plumbing end stop. Uh, this is 5 eighths of an inch. So if you need to do this, it's a 5 eighths inch end stop. I decided not to, not to fix this in permanently because when you've got, this is the weight of this plus the, uh, plus the, uh, the actual friction below of that, uh, it's probably good enough. If I needed to, I could put a little tiny bit of, of uh, Loctite on the bottom, on the base of this, and just put her down, and it would stay in place with the Loctite without a problem. So, so when I want to lift the lift up, so I would fill this up with lighter fluid, so this would be completely filled with lighter fluid, pretty pretty close to the top. There's a nice distance here in the, in the uh, Nice distance here in the actual uh, uh, stop bucket, whatever you want to call it, that this balance will go all the way down probably without the pivot touching the bottom. But that's not of any danger anyway, the way it's resting because you're doing it very slowly. So as you can see, you turn the coins here like this and the lift lifts. Now you can turn them quickly. You just take your two hands, two fingers and go in opposite direction. It's actually a natural movement movement as opposed to doing this, which you have to move your hand. Here I just have to move my fingers, and as you can see, the balance is getting deeper into the bucket, and therefore deeper into the lighter fluid that I would have in here. So, And I would wind this thing up to as high as I could do, as get it. So when it gets to this point here, if I have the bucket out a bit, let me just lower that a bit. If I have the bucket out just a bit, it's going to get past the rim of the balance cock and allow you to go up even further right which allows the uh, the liquid the lighter fluid to to actually hit the hairspring nicely so and you just keep raising this up you got to make sure that you don't raise up the balance cock itself but right now the hairspring would be completely submersed in the uh, in the lighter fluid at this point so no danger at all the balance is still in place on the tack the balance is, is resting nice and lightly. The pivot is touching the bottom here, but it's very lightly touching. And that's because you're not slamming it in. You're using the coins that just gradually uh, goes, you know, remove, moves the elevator platform up and then mates the lighter fluid with the balance and the hairspring. And then you leave that, go have lunch, play a game of pool, um, go for a run, uh, walk, uh, read a book, do whatever, come back. And when you're finished, you just you're, you just do it in the opposite direction, and you unwind it like that, and it goes down. And hopefully, it doesn't get stuck. Uh, the got to make sure the threads on this are lubricated, um, so that the the platform, in fact, will go down. And keep an eye on it that the, that the platform is is actually level, because if you go one completely lower than the other, obviously the platform will get stuck. But in this case, it's level. And so you'd be lowering it like this, and eventually the balance would be out of the lighter fluid. So I got one side is actually down completely, and this side, my thumb is faster than my finger, so the, uh, the thumb side went down first. So. so there you go, so now it's lowered nicely, and you take the balance, you can let it rest there, and dry off. Um, so you're, you're drying this off now from the lighter fluid. Uh, and then when you're finished, when it's nice and dry, you could actually leave it in there and use a puffer. Um, but not recommended actually because you've got lighter fluid in here, you'll probably splash it everywhere. So once you're finished this, as you can see, it's clearing the, uh, clearing the, uh, the actual nut there that I've turned into my bucket. So you take this and you can put it on to another uh, balance cock after if you want, or you can take it right from there and install it into the watch without uh, an issue at all. So I still have to figure out a name for it. If you guys want to give me a name for it, um, I don't think I'm going to 
bother patenting this, although um, it is a pretty cool device that uh, we could be used in watchmaking. So I just want to be known as the inventor of the Binford 5000 balance lifter. All right, what the heck? Let's dip the hairspring. I changed my mind. I'm going to just fill this up with some lighter fluid, Rosinol lighter fluid, and test this baby. So you just very carefully fill this up. Do not smoke while you're doing this, please, because this could be an issue. And so there it is there. So the, the, uh, the device, the cleaning lift, balance cleaning lift, that's what I'll call it. The balance cleaning lift is now has lighter fluid in it. So now I'm going to take this, make sure this is at the right angle. I'm going to put this on the balance tack, giving you a play-by-play -play very carefully, um, like that. As you can see, it's resting nicely on the in the lighter fluid right now. So let's see how far I can get this thing up. So if I just move this ever so slowly. The balance should sink in the lighter fluid, lighter fluid because balances are heavier than lighter fluids. Basic chemistry. Chemistry 101. So I got a significant part of the hairspring in there now. So a lot of the coils of the hairspring are in there now. And as I said before, if you want to clean it, if I want to move this out just ever so slightly, I should be able to get this up some more. Try that out. Try that out because I want to dip it even further. Like that. And what do I got? I got a bit of an angle on the hairspring. I can move that back a bit. And I'm basically most of the hairspring is sitting in there now. Uh, and it's, I believe the balance is bottomed out on the bottom. So you got the majority of the hairspring is in there. Uh, the smaller coils are definitely in there and the larger coils are sitting a bit on top there we go like that and I think if I clear if I'm able to clear the edge of this balance with this device then I might be able to get even more in there so let's just try to go to the top and see what happens As you can see, I filled it to the top and the complete balance and hairspring is cleaned with the lighter fluid to the top, but don't go any further and make sure you account for displacement because the lighter fluid did spill out a bit from the uh, top. So leave a little, leave a little room there. So that's the video today and thanks for watching. Um, watching, that's a joke. Um, all the materials are available to be purchased at your local hardware store or your local metal stock shop so uh, it was pretty simple to make and it allows you to clean the balance and the hairspring under a lot of control which I like so it's the uh, the hairspring cleaning lifter or the liftomatic or the lift a rooney toonie or the lift a roo or the uh, bucket upward moving device or the double coin lifting bucket upward moving device thing or think of a name let me know and uh, send me a comment what i should name this thing and should i patent this and start making them <laughs>